Hello, brilliant learners. Ever find yourself wondering why we have those sassy words that spice up our conversations or sometimes get us in trouble? Well, you're in for a treat. Today, we're diving into the colorful world of swearing. We'll uncover why swearing exists, how these words have evolved over time, and their surprising role in communication. We'll explore the history of swear words, their impact on social interactions, and how their usage differs across cultures. Ready to get started? Let's go. Cuss words, also known as swear words or expletives, are terms often used to express strong emotions such as anger, frustration or surprise. They can also serve as emphatic or derogatory expressions depending on the context. While these words can convey powerful feelings, they can be offensive or inappropriate in certain settings. Here's some vocabulary related to swearing. Formal. Profanity. Profanity is offensive language. The film was criticized for its heavy use of profanity. Profane language. Profane language is language that shows disrespect for sacred things or is vulgar and offensive. The teacher reprimanded the students for their use of profane language in the classroom. Obscene. Something obscene is something extremely offensive, indecent or disgusting, especially in a sexual context. The book was banned for its obscene content. Obscene language. Obscene language refers to highly offensive words or phrases, often with explicit sexual or vulgar content. He was fined for using obscene language in public. Obscenity. Obscenity refers to the state or quality of being offensive or disgusting, often through speech or writing that deals with sexual content or vulgar language. The comedian's routine was filled with obscenity, which offended many in the audience. Vulgar. The term vulgar refers to language that is offensive or indecent. The song's lyrics were deemed too vulgar for radio play. Here are some informal verbs used when expressing frustration or anger with bad language. Swear, curse and cuss. Swear at somebody. He swore at his co-worker during the argument. Curse at somebody. She cursed at the driver who cut her off. Cuss at somebody. He tends to cuss at his friends during sports games. Some nouns used to describe the act of using offensive language are swearing, cursing, and cussing. Swearing is often used to express strong emotions. Cursing is sometimes seen as a way to vent frustration. Cussing can be a sign of anger or stress. A curse is a profane or offensive word or phrase expressing anger or frustration. She muttered a curse under her breath after the mistake. Swear word. A swear word is a word considered to be vulgar or offensive. The movie was full of swear words which made it unsuitable for children. He accidentally let a swear word slip during the interview. Oath. An oath is a solemn promise. It can also refer to a profane word. They had to bleep out a lot of oaths in the TV show to keep it family friendly. Bad language. Bad language is 
an informal term for language that is considered offensive or vulgar. She was mindful of her choice of words, knowing that her younger siblings would pick up on any bad language. Swearing varies greatly in intensity from mild expressions that are socially acceptable to extremely offensive terms. Understanding these different levels can help you navigate conversations and choose your words wisely. Here's a breakdown of the different degrees of swearing. Mild swearing involves words that are less likely to offend and are often used in everyday conversation. These terms are generally considered acceptable in casual settings and are often used to express minor frustration or surprise without causing significant offense. Heck, primarily US, UK, a soft alternative to hell, used when you're mildly surprised or frustrated. What the heck is going on here? I didn't expect to find my car missing. Dang, US, or darn, UK. A gentler version of damn, used when something goes wrong, but isn't extremely serious. Dang, I missed the live stream. I lost my phone again, darn it. Shoot, a non-offensive way to express mild frustration or disappointment. Shoot, I forgot to pay the electricity bill this month. Bugger, UK, Oz, N, Z. Bugger is a swear word primarily used in British English, Australian English and New Zealand English. Its meanings and connotations can vary based on context, but generally it is a mild expletive. Bugger can substitute for damn to express mild frustration or annoyance. Oh bugger, I've lost my keys again. Oh damn, I've lost my keys again. Bugger can be used playfully to tease someone. You cheeky bugger, you ate the last cookie is similar to saying you cheeky fellow, you ate the last cookie. Both phrases imply light-hearted teasing among friends. Here bugger is used as a noun. Bugger can refer to something problematic or troublesome as a noun. This car engine is a real bugger to fix. This means it is difficult to repair. This car engine is a real pain to fix. If you bugger up something or if you bugger something up, you mess it up or spoil it. I buggered up my chances by being late. Bloody. UK, Oz and Z. In British English, the term bloody is used as a mild expletive for emphasis, surprise or frustration. It can add intensity to a statement similarly to how very, really or damn might be used in American English. Look at those hamburgers. I'm so bloody hungry. Emphasis. Bloody hell. I thought I was going to miss the bus. Surprise or frustration? It's bloody hot in this room. Bloody is often paired with hell to express surprise, frustration, annoyance or emphasis. Bloody hell, I didn't expect to see you here. Bloody hell, this traffic is terrible. BS, US, UK, Oz, short for bullshit. Used to describe something as false or nonsensical. That's complete BS. Badass, primarily US, also UK, Oz and Z. As a noun, if somebody is a 
badass. They're exceptionally impressive. She is a real badass for launching a successful app that's taken the tech world by storm. As an adjective, if something is badass, it's very cool or impressive. The latest virtual reality headset is badass with, with its ultra high resolution and immersive experience. Kickass US as an adjective. When something is described as kickass, it's impressive, excellent, or highly effective. The latest smart home device is kickass with its advanced AI features as a verb phrase. If somebody kicks ass, they perform exceptionally well or handle a situation with great skill and effectiveness. He kicked ass during the coding challenge and got hired on the spot. If somebody kicks somebody's ass, they physically defeat or outperform another person, often in a confrontational manner. In the debate competition, her arguments kicked the other team's ass, schmuck, US. A mild insult used to describe someone as foolish or incompetent. Only a schmuck would believe that viral video without checking the facts first. The words freaking, freaking and freaking are just milder ways to say fucking. They're used to show frustration, add emphasis or express surprise and you can swap them around pretty easily. This is freaking awesome. This software update is freaking confusing. I can't believe I missed the appointment. That's just freaking awful. Pain in the ass or pain in the arse. These describe something or someone that is very annoying. That client is such a pain in the ass. Smart ass, smart arse refers to a person who is irritatingly clever or sarcastic. Stop being such a smart ass and help me. Strong swearing includes terms that are considered highly offensive and are often used to express intense emotions. These words can provoke strong reactions and are generally avoided in polite company or professional settings. Fuck, a highly versatile expletive used to express anger, frustration or disbelief. What the fuck is going on? Holy shit! An exclamation used to show surprise or shock. Holy shit! I can't believe this. What the fuck? A phrase expressing confusion or incredulity. What the fuck is happening here? Are you fucking kidding me? This is used to convey disbelief or frustration. Are you fucking kidding me? This is ridiculous. Go and get fucked. A strong expression used to tell someone to leave or to express anger. Just go and get fucked. Bitch. A derogatory term that can insult someone or describe someone acting unpleasantly. He's being a total bitch about the work schedule. It's just a small change. Swearing isn't universal. It varies wildly across cultures and languages. Let's explore how swearing differs in various English-speaking countries and other languages around the world. Here are some common swear words and phrases used 
in the UK, US and Australia to describe a foolish or stupid person. And some common swear words used in the UK, US and Australia to describe a person who is annoying or a jerk, akin to the Greek term malakas. Sometimes you want to express frustration or surprise without resorting to strong language. Here are some light-hearted substitutes for swearing that can add a bit of levity to your expressions. Flipping. A toned down version of fucking. I'm flipping exhausted from this endless work week. I need a vacation. Blasted, a way to show frustration, substituting damn or fucking. This blasted app keeps crashing right when I need it most. Son of a biscuit, a playful substitute for son of a bitch. Son of a biscuit, I locked myself out of the house again. Mother of pearl, a mild exclamation used to express surprise or exasperation, substituting motherfucker or damn. Mother of pearl, I didn't expect the traffic to be this bad during rush hour. What the frog? A whimsical replacement for what the fuck? What the frog is going on here? Modern slang often provides creative alternatives to swearing or incorporates swear words into new expressions. Here are some examples of modern slang related to swearing. Screw up. This is a widely used term in both the US and the UK, meaning to make a mistake or handle something poorly. It's informal and often used to describe a significant error. I screwed up setting up the smart home system. So now, whenever I try to adjust the thermostat, it starts playing baby shark at full volume. My neighbors are very concerned. Mess up. Similar to screw up, this term is also commonly used in both the US and the UK to describe making a mistake or causing confusion. It can refer to both minor and major errors. You really messed up the recipe. Flub. This term is primarily used in the US and means to make a blunder or mistake, particularly in performance or public speaking. It suggests a slip up that is noticeable and often embarrassing. I flubbed my presentation by showing vacation photos instead of the sales report. Bungle. More commonly used in the UK, this word implies a more serious or clumsy mistake, often due to incompetence or mishandling. I really bungled the instructions and ended up with the wrong result. Botch. This term is used in both the US and UK, though it's more common in the UK. It suggests a task that has been done very badly, often beyond repair. It conveys a strong sense of failure and can be quite impactful. I tried to fix the leaky faucet myself but I totally botched it. SNAFU, primarily used in the US. SNAFU is an acronym for situation normal all fucked up and refers to a situation that is chaotic or a mess, often due to mismanagement or confusion. The dinner party was a SNAFU when I set the oven timer for the microwave. Swearing plays a significant role in language and communication. 
influencing how emotions and messages are conveyed. It can serve various functions from expressing strong feelings to building social bonds. Swearing can effectively convey intense emotions and add emphasis to statements. I just won the lottery. Holy shit, I can't believe it. It can help build rapport and express shared frustration, particularly in informal settings. I hate this job. It's such a mess. In casual interactions, swearing can create a sense of belonging and mutual understanding. You know what? I'm sick of this crap too. The history of swearing reveals how certain words and phrases have evolved over time. Damn, initially used in religious contexts to refer to eternal punishment or hell. The preacher condemned the sinner to damnation. It became less associated with its religious meaning and is now used casually to express frustration or emphasis. Oh, damn, I forgot my phone. And this is a damn good movie. Fuck, likely derived from the old English word fokken, meaning to strike or to thrust used as a vulgar term for sexual intercourse since at least the 16th century, expanded from a term primarily related to sex to a versatile expletive for strong emotions or emphasis. This is fucking amazing and I'm so fucked up about this. Shit. Originally a crude term for feces from old English skite, expanded beyond its literal meaning to express frustration or describe something undesirable. I stepped in dog shit. And this is a shit situation. There are several idioms and expressions for a person who swears a lot. Swear like a sailor. This implies that someone uses a lot of profanity similar to the stereotype of sailors using colorful language. After the tech mishap, Mike was swearing like a sailor. Have a foul mouth. If somebody has a foul mouth, they frequently use offensive language. She's known for having a foul mouth especially when she's frustrated with work. Rough around the edges. If somebody is rough around the edges, they may be blunt in manner or language. He is a bit rough around the edges in meetings with his blunt comments and frequent swearing. And that's it for our swearing showdown. Remember, a well-placed curse word can be an art form but use it wisely thanks for watching catch you in the next one and keep it 